I was at the Ronald McDonald House because I was diagnosed with stage 4B Hodgkin's lymphoma in June of last year. Um, I had chemo and I was at the hospital a lot and then when I had radiation it was every day and my mom and I we lived two hours away so yeah we stayed here. We focus on taking care of all of the basic needs for our families of course we are home away from home that means more than just shelter for them. We provide our meals through our wonderful Adopt-A-Meal program we couldn't do that without those volunteers. They have act access to the laundry room, um, which I'm sure as you understand can be very costly for our families, many of whom have come in on an emergency basis and really only have the clothes off their back. They don't have resources. Uh, we provide toiletries. We provide that support, that home, that family for them. At a time when you feel completely helpless for the two people you love the most, the Ronald McDonald House is there for, for us and it made all the difference in the world. They do Christmas. You get Christmas presents. That people gave up their, their Christmas Eve and their Christmas Day to kind of make it a little more special for us was really, really important. When we have 50 people under this roof, that's 50 different thoughts, 50 different religions. It could be any of those things. But these people come together and find comfort in each other. Who else is going to know exactly what they're going through except the families that are staying here? Although every story is going to be different, every child's diagnosis is different. They do have similarities. They're able to sit down and say, hey, I was where you were last week. This is what's going on with me. And it really helps the families um, find hope. This is a place where you can feel comfortable, like I said, when you can just feel at home and not have to worry about everything else. When you walk in the door, you can relax and not worry about tomorrow you have to go to treatments. You can sit here and eat dinner, eat breakfast, eat lunch and just talk to other people that can understand what you're going through. It's important. The volunteer aspect helps us do our day job. It doesn't take time. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just do it. And when you see what they do here and how amazing this house is and everybody in the house, and you look at the kids that leave, it's a no-brainer. She's our miracle. She is probably, everybody says she's the happiest baby they've ever met. She's smiling, uh, she's just so much fun. <laughs> if you care and are compassionate and you care about children and you care about families and you care about this community, just come in, um, spend a little time with us. Come to one of our events, you'll hear from the people there the things we do, see if it's something uh, we want, yet you want to be involved with. We're doing our Christmas in July, which will allow us to promote our mission. It gives people something to talk about with the Ronald McDonald House to understand what we do here, and hopefully we'll encourage them to bring us Christmas presents in July when we need them the most. Someone's got to fight for those children. Someone has to fight for moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas. Every case that steps foot in this door is critical. And we do it because someone has to do it. And it's just it's a great place to be.